Hi spooky friends, if you saw the title, which you most likely did, you already know what we're talking about today. Um, I just had the biggest home goods haul and honestly it's pretty early in the season. Normally home goods doesn't really get Halloween, at least up here in Oregon, um, until maybe closer to the end of August, but I think today's like July 15th. I don't know but when I walked in there it was a little deceiving because it's all still hidden on the back end caps but man did we strike the Halloween gold today um it was definitely an add to basket day I did not hesitate on anything if I wanted it I put it in my basket and we checked out but surprisingly I only spent $92 which is shocking but let's get into this haul video. Um, I haven't made one of these in a long time, but we always do them around this season. So I'm so excited to show you what I got. And if you haven't grabbed a drink already, you should. I'm drinking probably my favorite truly. Um, it's Friday, it's been a week. I'm drinking, sorry, not sorry. Okay, so first things first, where do I want to start? So I have been wanting this specific Halloween garland for so long and my home goods have never had it. Like I've never found it. I'm to the point where I'm like, if I see somebody post it on Instagram, I'm about to tell them like, hey, if you go pick this up, I'll pay for shipping. If you ship it to me, like I'm to that point. But I did find one that was similar found this one it's really cute it's got pumpkins bats and ghosts it's so cute uh, this is by Cynthia Raleigh I have I find myself I have like I have a lot of her stuff I don't know who she is where she designs for but I have a lot of her Halloween stuff um, this garland was $16.99 that's the only thing about garland. They are on the more expensive side, but this is so cute. I cannot wait to put it on. Okay, moving on right along. Um, let's keep with the theme of garland. That is really gross. A piece of hair just came out of it. Okay, so this next one is a little more on the less color side. Randy, my boyfriend, does not love the color orange, but he puts up with it. Um, but I got this garland as well. It's just black, gray, and white. It's got some ghosts and a bat on it. I just realized this ghost has some pink on its face, but it's okay. It gives it character. But this garland is super cute. I had to have this one, and this one as well was... I don't even know. This one was also $16.99. So I don't know if this one was worth the $16.99 and maybe this one wasn't. I don't know, but they were both $16.99. So up next, I did get some canisters. I decided that this year, my contact, I decided that this year um, I'm going to switch out my coffee and my sugar um, little canisters over by my Keurig. I normally, I didn't last year, I don't think I did, that's the problem, that I do all the shopping before I decorate and then I go to put Halloween out and I forget what I already have. Like if it's not something that I had for a really long time or really like a staple for me, I forget what I have. So I end up with a lot. But I told myself that if I don't put something out and I didn't put it out last year, it might be time to donate it and move it along to its next home. But this canister that I got is, this will be my sugar canister. It's really cute. It's orange with some skeletons and some bats on it. I really like this one. It's so cute. And this was $7.99. Okay, so to go along with that canister, I'll probably put my coffee in this one. It's really cute. It says Happy Boo and, <coughs> excuse me, these ghosts and skulls right here, they remind me of the Nightmare Before Christmas, to be honest with you. I don't know. Don't they just remind you of, like, the intro, like, the skulls and the ghosts and everything? That's what these remind me of. So, naturally, I had to have it. And this is nine. This was 9 dollars 
All right, so up next, if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you saw me post it. I swear, every time I film, I have problems with my contacts. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw it on my stories. I was very, very shocked to see any Ray Dunn because normally the Halloween Ray Dunn and Christmas, I feel like, go immediately. And I never find any. I'm not a huge fan of Ray Dunn. I had a few things a couple years ago that were non-Halloween. And I have since donated them and moved on from them. And I don't really buy her stuff anymore. I don't know what it is. But I hit the jackpot. I have a photo. I'll put it right here. But there was so much Ray Dunn. I was shocked. So this isn't too ray done ish to me and i had to have it it just says jack o lantern jack o lantern i cannot pronounce anything today um but it just says jack o lantern and it's really cute it i like that it's not like screaming and just like words on the front i thought it was pretty cute and it came with like a coaster on top it's cute this was 9.99 and i feel like the price for this was just right i saw somewhere that some of the mugs were like twenty dollars for me that is way too much money for a ray dunn mug like that definitely would not spend twenty dollars on a ray dunn mug but a disney halloween one probably so moving on to some um fall scented self-care kind of items kind of um i did pick up this hello autumn diffuser blend it's just three essential oils and these were made in england and they're vegan um, I will not be putting these on my body. These will just uh, go in my diffuser. That is it. But I thought they were pretty neat. And I didn't open them and smell them. But I mean, they gotta smell good, right? They have to. These were $9.99. That's not a bad price for three of these. And I have two diffusers and I feel like I never use them. So moving right along to probably... I don't want to say my favorite because I love Halloween and all of these were my favorite and it was definitely as you could see an add to basket day but the biggest home goods haul I've had in a really long time but I fell in love with a candle from who makes it um I fell in love with the candle from red leaf home if you guys have followed me last year on either here or instagram you've probably seen it it's like the orange glass canister I know it's in my like one of my bathtub pictures it's in there and i love that scent it literally has maybe like this much left on it so when i found this one i was super excited so it's the same scent it's called harvest leaves and it's from red leaf home and this one has a wooden wick and it just oh my god it just smells so good but i don't know what happened i do think that people forgot how warm it sometimes gets in the summer and there is some wax melted on the lid but it wasn't going to stop me some of them were pretty destroyed though but this one I got lucky with but like even the picture on it is just so pretty I am obsessed with this and the price was good but as you can maybe see there's like wax all over it um this was $14.99 and honestly if they have more when I go I have a weird obsession with candles and I might pick up another one needless to say I haven't done my I've done some fall um, bath and body workshopping we do one of those kind of videos every single year and I'm really excited for it except not to go off like on a tangent because this video is not about bath and body works but I did not buy very much from their like Halloween members preview i bought two things i bought one candle and i also bought um the wicked vanilla woods wall plugins and i put four in my cart and when i checked out there was only one and normally if it's like it sold out or whatever they would normally tell you and not just like do that i don't know what happened but i'm really mad i only got one of those and it's plugged in over there and it does smell really good and the scent is strong so i can tell you guys that that plug-in because i know some of them aren't great but that one is so strong but i should probably save all this for my bath and body works video but if you're thinking about getting that one when it's available just get it just get it okay 
So for my last item in my home goods haul, um, I picked up this pumpkin spice sugar scrub. Um, if you know me, everything is scented pumpkin. I mean, if they make it, it's mine. It's scented pumpkin. But during the fall, like I'm obsessed with self-care even more so than normal. And if they make something scented in pumpkin, I'm going to try it. But this one was really cute and it smells pretty good. I mean, as good as a sugar scrub can smell. And this was $5.99. So that's not a bad price. If you guys have made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate it. And I appreciate all the new subscribers that I have and the people that have stuck around from day one. I know I don't do this consistently and I'm really sorry about that, but life happens. But since we bought our home, there is just so much more to film and I just feel more comfortable. I don't know how to describe it, but I do have my home tour coming up. I'm just trying to figure out when I want to film it because we are still changing the kitchen. The kitchen is not done, but I have to film the home tour before I film my most favorite video of the year, which is decorating for Halloween. And most of you probably know that I decorate either on my birthday or the weekend after my birthday, depending on where my birthday is in the week but my birthday is on august 22nd and it's on a monday this year so i'm thinking and i took the day off um i'm thinking i'll probably decorate on my birthday because i don't think we're going to be doing anything too big this year but yeah or maybe i'll decorate the weekend of i don't know we'll see but i told myself i have to film my home tour video before i film the halloween decorate with me video because it wouldn't make any sense but the kitchen still isn't done. We're getting new countertops and backsplash. So we have to wait for that. But hopefully this weekend we will pick a place and a countertop and at least get it scheduled so I know for that. But I don't know. We'll see. Obviously, I have missed you guys because I have not stopped talking and rambling about nothing. But anyways... Thank you all for making it to the end of this video. I definitely, there will be more. I always do a Bath and Body Works one every year. I feel like Michael's is gonna be better this year. I feel like we're finally getting our redemption for what happened in 2020 and then what happened after because of the fact of 2020 happened. I cannot believe how many things were already at Home Goods. I'm so excited. But I will see you guys in my next video.